This is a billion dollar view for the price of coffee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are we? This is so beautiful. No, why has nobody told us that Cavite is so freaking beautiful? So oh, nice. solid two hours of driving, totally worth it. Can you give us more recommendations of Cavite? guys and welcome to beautiful Cavite here in the Philippines. Nelly and I woke up this morning and felt the urgent urge to be close to a beautiful large body of water. So we did a little bit of research and we found a stunning, stunning little beach that's supposed to be very close to Manila. Just a two hour drive away from our home. So we don't know yet if we're gonna find it. Yeah. We don't know exactly where it is. This is all just rumors, rumors and, <laughs> and internet mysteries. We, we have a Google Maps location. We don't know if it's accessible, but on our way there, we found this little set of cafes here. Where it's like, uh, how do you call it? Bula Lohan. Bula Lohan. It's the Bula Lohan and we ordered some coffee. It's right next to the road and we didn't see that there's this amazing view in the back. Yeah, we just knew, oh, must look really nice here. So, so, so stunning. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This little trip is getting off to a damn good yeah. start. Yeah, so very adventurous yeah. already. But we're having a three-in-one now. Three-in-one yes. coffee. By Short the way, coffee break. this trip is starting with substantially less car accidents. Yes. <laughs> Thumbs up for that. <laughs> Here's a little fun anecdote from the situation right now. We sat down and we ordered our coffee and as I'm like staring out into the distance, I realize I haven't been to an ATM in two weeks. <laughs> so like how much money do I have? I literally had a hundred pesos. There's nothing else in my wallet but a hundred pesos. And the coffee and the water amounts to exactly a hundred pesos. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Lucky. Well, that is a fine free and one <laughs> I really love the Hello Kitty. <laughs> so cute. I didn't think that I'd be falling for you so soon. How nice is this? So nice. This, I don't know if you can tell from the microphone, but there's a nice breeze coming through the restaurant pushing out to the ocean. You can tell so, by your hair. <laughs> yeah. And we can see Coheridor Island here. And behind it, uh, Bataan and Five Fingers. Really cool. And something that I realized immediately when we got out of the car, it smells of spring. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to say it. This is a billion dollar view for the price of a coffee. So good. So guys, this is Monte Alto, Bulalo and Seafood. I'm not sure if they go on Google Maps, but if ever you're driving past here and you see this, check out the view. I'll put a pin, a Google Map pin here. Oh, very good. Sorry, if I say here, I mean in the description box. <laughs> so we always try to put all the locations that we visit into the description box so you guys can visit it as well and discover some hidden gems in the Philippines. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> and we are back on the road. 
road. Yes. You had an interesting story about these roads because it's actually a really stunningly green road. And like, it's a very beautiful and curvy road. And I, I, I think this is the place that uh, all the motorcyclists used to come here. Uh, especially small bikes, I believe, and they'd always race around these uh, roads. But there were so many accidents that police started to enforce strict regulations here. And I think after that, people started going to Rizal instead. Don't quote me on this. I believe that is the story. Comment down below if that is the true story. Yeah, there's supposed to be a <laughs> there's supposed to be a tunnel at the end of this road. Okay. So. nice what a beautiful surrounding here and this definitely is quite the attraction for us especially motorcyclists I saw a lot of bikes before the tunnel and people taking pictures and actually I thought myself a, a picture of the motorcycle like in the tunnel yeah just or just before the tunnel would be really really cool now we're coming to a little beautiful spot where you can see the ocean and it is absolutely quiet here and it smells so good and I think I remember that our friend Michelle said that she wants to drive here with the motorbike so maybe we'll do a motorbike trip. Must be really fun to drive here. islands in the background. We just stopped by this little uh, station I would say. Michael just flying the drone and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just blown away by how beautiful it is here. We have never been, we have never actually traveled to uh, Cavite, we have never explored this area but I must say it is absolutely stunning and worth coming here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were not expecting this. I was not expecting this for, at for all. For real. For real, for real. Not expecting this. This is so beautiful. It is. No, why has nobody told us that Cavite is so freaking beautiful? I mean, it's two hours away from home. Yeah. Literally. So nice. Yeah, this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Oh my god, we just saw monkeys! It's the first time we saw monkeys in the Philippines. That's not true. We saw monkeys in Tagaytay under the Starbucks. True, yes. Second time. Second time. <laughs> oh, so cool. Yeah, a lovely, lovely road. Oh my, oh my, such lovely road. Really, really cool. Yeah. And for some reason, our dash cam beeped when the monkey ran into the road. So maybe we have the footage? Yeah, so I don't know, the dash cam anticipated something running into the road. I don't know how that works, yeah. but yeah, pretty, pretty dope.
so we just passed hello Ate. hello we just passed through a very cute little neighborhood and we just literally parked somewhere where I'm not blocking too much traffic and just check what we discovered Wow, so, so nice. solid two hours of driving, totally worth it, totally, totally worth it. So, so stunningly beautiful. I wish we'd brought our swimming trunks or something, yeah. that would have been like epic. So we wanted to check out the area and just see where we can go. Yeah. Um, next time we're bringing our swimsuits. And towels and some picnic. Yeah, and some friends. <laughs> and some friendos. <laughs> oh wow, stunning. Really, really stunning. Yeah. I think that was one of the very few sand beaches um, close to Manila. I saw there's a travel group in on Facebook and everybody was asking where can we go where we have a really fine sand beach and this is the place. I'm going to um, link it down below so you guys can check it out. It's very local. Yes. It's very local. Um, we didn't see any vendors. We didn't see many restaurants. Maybe it's because it's midday, so everybody's and, uh, having I'm, a nap. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell from the footage, but it was so beautifully quiet. It was yeah. just silent. You could hear these cute little waves crashing and the wind. It was so nice. It was like, it felt like a week's vacation, just like spending a few minutes there. Yeah. What? It's no photo, video recording beyond this point. Okay, we're not going beyond this point. No, we're gonna go. Just, we're just gonna walk the line. <laughs> wow, I gotta take an Instagram story. Yeah. Follow me making it happen vlog for the Instagram stories of those adventure. Wow. So as we were driving um, along the road here, we saw a lot of uh, very fancy properties. Like really fancy, it reminded me of uh, South Africa with the gated communities. We drove past here and we were both like, whoa! And we're like, stop here, stop here, we need to see those. It's so pretty. Wow. Mike keeps sending George and Lucy pictures from where we are. Yeah. Oh man, it's so nice. Yeah. It feels like a vacation. Please. I beg, please, can you give us more recommendations of Cavite yeah. or areas that are so close to Manila? I'm talking like two hours to maximum three hours drive away. So, you know, you don't have to do this big trip. It doesn't have to be a big travel thing, but it's safe. You can just go, enjoy, come back home. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this mini travel vlog showing you a little bit of these nice spots here in Cavite please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new around here and turn on the notifications guys we'll see you tomorrow same time same place remember to stay awesome be positive and make it happen bye bye we gotta go before the guard chases us away come quickly <laughs>